Hello, I'm Charles Berger. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce to you a new generation of pigment-based fine art photographic printmaking materials. This journey all began over 40 years ago when I simply wanted to make beautiful color prints that didn't fade and soon learned that no matter what, because they were all dye-based, they would fade or change colors when exposed to light. Some would even change in the dark. The only alternative seemed to be a 19th century pigment-based process called carbon. And so I reasoned that, well, if they could do it then, why not me now? Fast forward half a decade of trial and mostly error to 1985 and Polaroid permanent color films made to my specifications for the archival company of San Francisco appeared. However, the toxic chemistry of the traditional dichromate sensitized carbon films was a significant health and environmental hazard that cried out for alternatives. Ultra-stable pigment films introduced in 1992 were the result of those explorations and featured a green, non-toxic, non-carcinogenic photosensitizer. But first, let's begin at the beginning. Less than 10 years after James Clerk Maxwell demonstrated his additive theory of three-color photography, this man, Louis Ducot de Huron, made the first color photograph on paper and called it a heliochrome, color made by light. He did this by replacing the usual carbon ash colorant and Pontevin's bichromated pigment process with blue, red, and yellow pigments to make films that, when superimposed, produced a natural color photograph. Now, 150 years later, the same pigment process continues to be used to make prints for a few top-tier artists and photographers whose work is exhibited in galleries and museums worldwide. As the image is formed by pigments suspended in gelatin with discrete color layers, light penetrates deeply into the emulsion and reflects and illuminates from within. One of the advantages of the process has always been that a carbon print could be transferred to a variety of fine art papers. These prints by Todd Gangler were made on papers including Fabriano Artistico and Arches Platine. The unique surface of a carbon print, the characteristic gloss differential relief, brings a physical intimacy to the eyes of the viewer. Today's pigmented gelatin print is a hybrid of analog and digital technologies capable of the most accurate and detailed color reproductions. Museums and photographers' estates are using the process to recreate the look and feel of the early iconic color pigment prints. However, as the glass carbon materials were manufactured back in 1996, the production of full color carbon pigment prints has been limited to the few fine art photographers and printmakers such as Todd Gangler in Seattle and Calvin Guerra in Spain who have spent years learning to make their own materials from scratch. Until now. The new pre-sensitized Ultra 2 emulsion flakes contain all the ingredients to make pigmented gelatin emulsion films, offering photographers and fine art printmakers the opportunity to hand make their own high quality photographic prints. Just add hot water and coat. These pigment films are capable of producing the most permanent high quality color prints ever made. These new dichromate free films offer a simplified and repeatable workflow 
Transforming what was once a notoriously difficult and unpredictable process. The new emulsion flakes are currently undergoing stability testing by Henry Wilhelm, and we expect the results to be similar to his earlier findings from 1992. Although it has been over a quarter century since Ultra Stable replaced the toxic dichromate that results in chromium with a non-toxic sensitizer. The Getty continues to require chromium to be detected in a photographic print for it to be identified as a carbon print. In other words, all of the prints you have just seen made by Todd Gangler at Art and Soul would not be identified as carbon prints. Well, if we can't call them carbon prints, then what are they? While the focus of the process has historically been on accurate image reproduction, the hand-colored ultra-stable emulsion flakes also provide for the experimental use of sensitized photo photographic emulsions not possible with commercially manufactured materials. By coating several different colored emulsions in a single layer, the visual possibilities of the photographic process are redefined. <coughs> when used with camera-based images, the polycolor heliochrome challenges and expands the photographic vocabulary. The polycolor coating brings attention to the materiality of the photographic document and illustrates how the sensitized materials themselves influence its presentation. The unique gestural effects of the hand-coated polycolor heliochrome are most evident in the cameraless photogram, which is now multicolored rather than the usual white silhouette on a monochrome background. The multi-layer polycolor photogram is a visual illustration of the dynamic forces within the sensitive, light sensitive emulsion. When the history of photography in the 21st century is written, the pigmented gelatin process will play an important part. Thanks to its ability to evolve and adapt to changing imaging technologies while offering color print techniques while other color print techniques disappear and become photographic novelties. Thank you for your time and attention today. I hope to meet you in person at next year's conference.